matter how you how you present this, this information, it's really like I said, you're cleaning people's glasses off. Hundred percent. You don't know, you don't know what you don't know. You don't like, know what you don't know. You don't you don't know what you don't know. I mean, that's like the ultimate ignorance. You know what I mean? And darkness. The same. All of the same thing. You can only know something if you have uh, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. You know what I mean? And uh, and that wisdom is that is is applied knowledge. You know what I mean? So that's the that's the only way to 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 actually you know you have to go through the experience of it because like you say you can be speculative or you can be a uh, 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 practicing. You can be uh, actually doing it. Or actually doing it, yeah. yeah. And, and, wonder, and you know, go ahead. I wonder if the duty of the speculative Mason is actually to be the custodian of the knowledge. In terms of psychology, it's widely understood. Well, I wish it was widely understood, at least in the branch of psychology that I study. It's widely understood that humans are emotional creatures not logical mm -hmm. no one is logical everyone is emotional no question about it but we we dress up our emotion with logic which is why logic alone doesn't transform us it's the experience of that knowledge and it becomes wisdom that's why study and practice is necessary together just study doesn't make you anything but a custodian of information that's literally it but when you practice, something happens. You prove to your subconscious mind that what you've studied is reality. And that's something that can't be taken away from you. Mm -hmm. It can be given, but it can't be taken away from you. So it's important to know that these words don't mean anything. I mean, they, they help to categorize and label things because that's the duty of the, sub, of the conscious mind to categorize and label. But change is produced only when experience is created. The subconscious mind, memory, it's holographic. That means that something happened and it has carved a section in your being. And that is what a memory is. You have to create memories through experience. And those pieces of memory is what builds your pyramid of spiritual growth and evolution. That's the cleaning off of the glasses experiencing what how things actually are yeah so it isn't uh, that's why i've learned so much over the years to not sit here and just tell people stuff for multiple reasons number one we, we can only retain like four or five bits of information at a time so if i go off here talking you're only going to remember like the first five points that i said Mm -hmm. but if I can get you to feel something you take that with you and you can feel as much as you want to feel right now but the words don't mean anything what do they say people don't remember what you said they remember how you made them feel mm 